Here are three important factors that you need to consider before buying a house. There are actually a lot of things to consider. It's hard to narrow it down to just three. So it's important to have all the information for your current situation before making that commitment. Personally, I'm a licensed real estate agent in Virginia. And if you have any questions about buying or renting a property, I would love to help answer them for you. And so feel free to reach out. But here you go. Three factors that you need to consider before buying a house. First, this might seem a little obvious, but know what your monthly mortgage payment will be and how much you can afford. To understand this number, many people turn to just online calculators for a ballpark idea. However, it is always best to speak with a lender, your bank, a loan officer, and get pre-approved before house hunting. This will give you more clarity on exactly how much house you can afford and how much you can put towards monthly mortgage payments. Ultimately, this is just a general rule of thumb. It should not exceed your monthly mortgage payment should not exceed 28% of your monthly gross income. Second, have a realistic idea of what you want in a house and what you need. It's easy to get caught up in the emotion of buying a house and forget to be practical. Make sure you sit down with your partner, your spouse, your family member, or whoever you're buying the house with, if you're buying your house with anyone, and make a list of needs and wants. Once you have that list, you can start to prioritize what's most important to you in owning your house or your property. Third, know how much money you'll need to put down for a down payment and your options for different types of payments and loans. There are a lot of different types of loans out there and each has its own set of benefits and drawbacks. You need to understand what exactly you're getting into before you make an offer. Some say always to put down 20% of the purchase price, but there are options for less than that if you qualify. For example, an FHA loan allows you to put down 3.5%. Some states allow for a 1% down payment option through various programs and other VA loans, they offer 0%. However, the less money that you put down as your down payment, that's gonna result in increased monthly payments.